What's going on YouTube? Geosna right here. In today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for the Checkrain jailbreak to be released for PC. A Linux version has finally been officially released and it's not only one, it's actually multiple for different architectures and it has been published by the Checkrain team in here. Today they posted quote, Checkrain for Linux is now available at checkrain.in. It's been months of hard work in the making and we're so glad to finally show it to you. And it's now available of course on the official website. They also posted this in here. We're all also today releasing WebRain, a web interface for CheckRain designed for the headless computers like Raspberry Pi. CheckRain 0.9.8 also introduces our brand new operating system Pango OS for the first time, which is now used to perform low-level patches. They also said in here that the information about Pango OS and what it does and stuff like that will be available soon. Now, for those of you who do not know, the CheckRain jailbreak supports the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5S on all iOS versions, including iOS 13.3. 13.2.3, 13.1 and stuff like that. So basically iOS 12.3 all the way up to the iOS 13.3.1. So everything is supported and you don't have to stay on a lower version because Checkrain jailbreak is based on a bootroom exploit, the Checkmate, and that one cannot be patched. So for the iPhone 10, for example, or the iPhone 7 or 8, there will always be a jailbreak thanks to the Checkrain because it can be updated right away when a new iOS version is out without requiring a new TFP0 kernel exploit. Well, now Checkrain is available in here and if you go ahead here on the latest release you can see the macOS version and it also fixes a lot of stuff but it says support for Linux has arrived. Unfortunately there is no Windows for the moment. And amongst others they say here quote introduces WebRain see below. Low level patching is now handled by our all new Pango OS engineered from the ground up for flexibility. More news on this will come soon and um, adds a whole new CLI or command line interface built around NCURSIS which now supports FastDFU. And the Checkrain application no longer requires internet to open and they added support for iOS 13.3.1 which happens to be currently the latest version available for all devices supporting iOS 13. Now this jailbreak doesn't support A12 and A13 devices so no iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 11 or 11 Pro just iPhone 10 and lower. It also supports iPads and iPod touches. But if you want the Linux version you're pressing here on see all downloads and now the Linux versions are available for 8664 architecture, ARM, ARM64 and i486. So basically depending on the flavor of Linux you have you're going to download those. But probably most of you running Linux on a computer will need the x86641. The ARM and ARM64 versions are basically for Raspberry Pi or other embedded computers running Linux which have an ARM CPU usually but if your computer has an Intel or an AMD CPU like a normal one that can run Windows 2 uh, you would basically need the x86 64 version in here and this is CLI so basically command line no user interface with you know graphical elements and stuff like that you're basically running a command line tool but I guess it's better than nothing it does have a, some sort of interface in the CLI but it's not like the Mac OS one so yeah but this is basically it we finally have it for Linux in one of my next videos I'm going to show you how to jailbreak on Linux but it's pretty easy so yeah thank you for watching guys I'm GeoSnow and till next time subscribe to stay updated and don't forget to check out the video in the future about how to use this because it's going to be published soon thank you again for watching I'm GeoSnow and Peace out.